Welcome back, friends. I hope you're having a great time. I know I am. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the darkest darks and the lightest lights. We're nearing the end of our portrait. Last time after I stepped back, I thought my drawing was a little bland. It didn't have enough punch. So now I'm going to be adding my darkest darks. If you do not get a dark enough dark with your 8B pencil, you can use what's called an ebony pencil. We want to be careful when we're adding our darkest darks that the area does not look like a hole. So again, we're pressing softly to start. I am using my ebony pencil because my 8B pencil did not give me a dark enough dark. Remember, up in that nostril, nice clean nostril. Be careful not to put too much. Now, some of you horse people might see that I don't have the throat latch on this halter. And I did that for drawing purposes so we can talk about these areas. It's usually a cast shadow from this ring. Again, don't do the entire area too dark. It will look like a hole. As you can see, I am moving my hand like this. The hand has a natural curve when we do that. So take advantage of that. Inside of the buckle, where we get a little peek of the horse's cheek. I'm going to go back to the pupil. And at this time, I like to add the eyelashes.
the more gradually you can go from value to value, the more realistic your horse will look. Now I'd like to talk to you about highlights. We left some of the paper white originally, but as you work on the drawing, graphite will get into those areas. So I like to take my kneaded eraser, look back up at my subject, and see where I need to take away some material. So your eraser is just like a drawing tool, like your pencil is. I'm going to go up to the neck and I don't want to take away too much, so I'm very lightly going over the horse with my kneaded eraser. You can also blend a little bit with your hand. Best tool ever created. I'm going to use my polymer eraser for the nostril because it has a nice sharp edge. A good practice to get into is to have an eraser brush. We don't want to erase with our hand because we can smear our work. And at the end of a drawing, when you smear your work, it's very upsetting. You can ruin all your hard efforts. Okay, let's take a look. The most important highlight is in the eye. That's what really brings your horse to life. Now, we've done a lot of work drawing our horse's eye, and we don't want to ruin it by putting a big eraser on it. So I like to use what's called an eraser guard. I put the circle shape over the eye. Let's see, I'm going to decide where I want that highlight. And then I can press very hard, not disturb the area around it. And we should get a nice round highlight. Perfect. If you've removed too much, you can just go back in with your hard pencil and put a value back. Step back, take a look, aha, I would like to remove a little here. Step back. Okay, I need to have more light area. On the throat muscles. On the shoulder. The pole is almost always highlighted. I'm going to put another highlight in the horse's eye. It's not bright enough for me. Perfect.
when you're doing a colored drawing of a horse and you have these buckles and rings in a beautiful brass color, it's just the crowning glory. Another finishing touch at the end of a drawing is to check your edges. We often concentrate on the inside of the subject matter and forget the edges. So at this time, I like to follow the horse up the neck, compare it to my subject matter. I come up, uh, oh gee, right there, neglected that spot. I almost always forget the tips of the horse's ears. I, I don't know why. So I have a, it written down in my studio, check the tips. When you're checking your outlines and your edges, you don't want one solid dark line going around the, your entire subject matter. It will make it look flat. So leave some areas a little light. For example, I'm not going to make this line above this eye solid and pronounced. Oh, need to clean up this edge. Need a line here. Down to the nostril. We often need to clean up around the horse's mouth and lips and then chin. It's easier to clean up this horse than being at the barn cleaning the real thing. And I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and clean up some smudges. All that's left to do now is sign your work. It's important to sign your work in an area that's not distracting from your drawing or too large. And that's it. Thank you for joining me in the very first episode of Pierce the Heart Lessons. We'd love to see your work. Name your horse and place it in the brass nameplate here. Share it with us on social media. Make sure you tag Pierce the Heart Lessons. Again, thank you for being a part of a very special day in my life. Thank you to all the contributors who contributed to our Kickstarter campaign. I am Joanne Pierce, and remember, have good values on the easel and off. See you soon. <laughs>